Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. That's the book. We've got an article on the D&D website. I know I'm probably going to be out in front of both Amazon and D&D Beyond on this, so I'm just going to dive into it. Let's take a look. So here we can see a magical mixture of rules options for the world's greatest role-playing game. The wizard Tasha, whose great works include Tasha's hideous laughter, the spell has in, uh, gathered bits and bobs of precious lore during her investigation or illustrious career as an adventurer. Uh, basically, what's going to be in the book? Expanded subclasses. What we kind of thought, including for the artificer, artificer, which appears in this book. One of my predictions? Check mark. Correct. More character options. Delve into collections of new class features and new feats, and customize your character's origin using straightforward rules for modifying a character's racial traits. This is what we were talking about, making race a little bit lax or not as important, as well as new feats and new class features, probably the UA class features that everybody wants. Introducing group patrons. Whether you're part of the same criminal syndicate or working for an ancient dragon, each group patron option comes with its own perks and types of assignments. We've seen group patrons before. I think, I can't remember if it was Theros or Wildmount, but we've seen it before, so that's coming back in a greater expanse. Spells, artifacts, and magic tattoos. Discover more spells as well as magic tattoos and other items for your campaign. That means we're going to get the Unearthed Arcana magic tattoos as well, going to be coming in this, as well as, again, new magic items, which is good. Expanded rules options. Try out rules for sidekicks, supernatural environments, natural hazards, and parlaying with monsters, and gain guidance on running a session zero. Gaining guidance on running a session zero is huge, especially for new people. Uh, natural hazards, good. We've got Icewind Dale coming out. Supernatural environments, again, Tasha's gathered this kind of stuff. Uh, rules for sidekicks, we've seen this a little bit in the Essentials Kit, but now I guess it's coming out in full force. And a plethora of puzzles. Ready to be dropped into a D&D adventure, puzzles of varied difficulty await your adventurers, complete with traps and guidance on using puzzles in a campaign. Full of expanded content for players and DMs alike, this book is a great addition to the Player's Handbook and DMG. Baked in, you'll find rule options for all the character classes in the Player's Handbook, including more subclass op options. Thrown in for good measure is the Artificer class, Artificer, a master of magical invention. And this witch's brew wouldn't be complete without a dash of added artifacts, spellbook options, spells for both players and monsters, magical tattoos, group patrons, and other tasty goodies. There is going to be an alternative cover. I'm going to open it up. Here you can see uh, not a Hydro 74, more along the lines of what we've seen with them, like the Morden Canons. $49.95. Let's go check it out on Amazon. It is still up for pre-order, does not have any information on Amazon. I checked D&D Beyond as of the time of this recording. There are no videos out about it either. So hopefully uh, this is your introduction to what we're getting. Folks, we were right. It is Tasha themed. It did have a cauldron and a witch theme to it, and it had a bunch of the options that we had thought. Subclasses, group patrons, magic tattoos, uh, new feats. I'm super pumped. Let me know what you're excited about most about Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. I think this is going to be absolutely uh, amazing. I think it's going to be a fantastic thing to get. We're all going to be pumped about it. You can expect a ton of coverage from me on this book once we get it. I'll take this time to make a quick announcement too. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. I didn't pull up the analytics for the purposes of this video, but most of the folks, it looks around 50% of you who watch my videos regularly aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you wanted to take a moment to do so, it helps me out. I'm trying to hit 50,000 subscribers and I'm getting real close. And if you like this kind of news content, I try to cover everything as it comes out as fast as I can. Hence this video at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Thanks to my patrons over on Patreon for continuing to support me and the channel. And if you like the other books of D&D 5e, I'm giving away a copy of the limited edition cover of Mythic Odysseys of Theros. There's a link for that in the description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.